at a bank at Okelewa Belkuta. So when I got there, a policeman standing called me. Another policeman was coming behind, which I don't notice is coming. So he just slapped me behind. Mm -hmm. Then he just bring out a knife. Then he shook me on the neck. As a result of the injury, he cannot do anything. He talked, Olubenga, Olajide, turned my, my husband to a bike man. I went to Commonwealth Games in 2008 for Commonwealth um, Youth Games at uh, India Pune, which um, I took um, fourth position in the weightlifting category. So after a while, I came back to Kada Games here in Nigeria. After that, I need to sponsor myself for for a game at uh, Uber. That was uh, 2017, February, February 2. I need to go and sort my family at a bank at Okelewu Abelkuta at uh, FCMB Bank, because that's my bank. So when we got there with our own bike, I am, I'm having my, um, my passport and my visa to the country because I'm leaving for Lagos State that same day. So when we got there, me and my wife and my kid of two months old, she's a girl. Then there was a bike parked at the entrance of the um, bank, which is the FCMB bank. There was Okada parking on the walkway and there is Jeep parking on the roadside beside the Okada. So there is no way for me to pass. So my husband jumped over the bike and I was carrying my baby and backing my baby. So I need to turn to the other side and go and meet him. So when I got there, when I just crossed the, the bike, then a policeman standing called me. Then he said to me like, do I know the meaning of what I'm doing, of what I've done? Then I said, what have I done? So he just said to me, like, I'm full, I'm a fool, something like that, and so on and so forth. So he's now coming closer to me with the gun in his hand. Then my wife wouldn't notice that because she was far away from me. I saw my husband with one, two policemen accusing him, abusing him. So my husband was trying trying to say, do you know me? Why are you abusing me? Then another policeman was coming behind, which I don't notice is coming, you know, because there was crowd and car, you know, movement everywhere. So he just slapped me behind. Mm -hmm. So when he slapped me, then looking back, I saw he's a mobile policeman as well. He's holding a gun. Then he said to me, like, what is going on? So the next thing, he dipped his hand in his pocket. I thought he was even want to make a call or whatever he is, and he just bring out a knife, then he shoot me on the neck. So I was just shouting, help, 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 help. So I couldn't touch anybody because they are carrying gun and wearing police clothes. So, and people just surround us. And one of the bank officer just came down and say, and we asked him, that who is the who is this policeman? Are, are they from this uh, bank? And they say he's not from the bank. Before I could notice, because the blood was just gushing out, like before I could find out, like his blood coming out. Then I saw the knife in his hand with the left hand carrying a gun. Then people rush us. So when they rush us, then he was trying to make a way that time. Then I hold him like you. You don't have to go anywhere. So they now took me to um, F um, FMC because they asked me my hospital that I used, so I told them FMC. So they took me to FMC with their patrol van and my wife and my kid. So they just dropped me there. They left without nothing, nothing, nothing. As a result of the injury, it, it could not pay our children's school fees. The house rate, even for feeding, is hard. 
for us to eat, to feed the children is a problem. So uh, before the injury, we are okay. We are well okay. Even I have a car. I have my own personal car. So as a result of the injury, he could not do anything. Even my father-in-law just, just lost him. Prastamo, 15 year Prastamo, we cannot offer him. So it was on it, me and my dad, we've been going here and going there, coming up, going to them, coming down, you know, all the way before I was pissed off, then I stopped going again. So nobody called me even up to date till the NSAS uh, program started. This Olubenga, Olajide, have uh, rendered me useless of what I love to do and what I could do most. So I couldn't train like a normal training like I used to perform for my state and my country because I was shook on the jugular vein and which the doctor said if the care is not taken, if I'm still training like then the most then it can result to you know that was I just stopped training and stopped uh, lifting career. For the competition that this Mr. Olajide Olubenga that makes me to lose the trip. My ticket was uh, 1.7 million naira. My visa was uh, 1 million naira. Then the competition itself that is supposed to go and do at the Cuba, um, the money of the award itself is uh, worth of uh, 7 to 6 million naira. This guy has ruined my life that I went to even to go and purchase um, Okada at higher purchase so that I can be able to feed my family because as a result of where this guy shook me then because I couldn't be able to perform as a performing athlete as a weightlifter Nigerian weightlifting so then I need to be doing Okada rider so that I can feed my family and mostly some of the time because I'm not used to the job I couldn't get money and I don't want to steal you know to feed my family then I try to sustain that. In, in most cases, my children, you know, unable to pay their school fees and so on and so forth, even including house rents, which I was be able to do before.